Okay, so hi everyone. I am going to show you how to solve this problem. Katie had no more storage on her phone. She had 543 photos and she deleted 262 to make room on her phone. How many photos does she have left on her phone? So the big clue when I read this out was the word left. How many photos does she have left? So straight away that tells me that this is a subtraction problem. So we're going to subtract 262 from 543. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky because if you take a look at this number here, which is in the tens, it is 4 tens, which is 40. And the tens that I'm going to subtract is 6 tens. But I can't take 6 tens away from 4, so I'm going to ask you to watch really carefully while we go through this problem. So the first thing we need to make sure is that we always leave our biggest number unchanged to 543, take away 200. And our answer for that is... 500 take away 200 is, well I know that 500 take away 200 is 300, so therefore I know that 543 take away 200 is 343. So now we're going to take away the tens, and in 262 I know that there are 6 tens, and 6 tens is 60. So this is a tricky part of our subtraction because I know that taking 60 away from 40 is, you can't do that because that number is too big. So, but it's not 40, it's 343. So a nice easy way of doing that is I'm just going to take away, in my head, I'm just going to think to myself, I'm not going to take away 60, I'm only going to take away 40. So 343 take away 40, well that's really easy, it just leaves us with 303. But I need to remember that I have only taken away 40 and I needed to take away 60. So I still have another 20 to subtract from my sum. So I know that 300 take away 20 is 280. Therefore, 303 take away 20 is 283. So let's have a look. So far, we have taken away the hundreds and we have taken away the tens. I wonder if you can guess what we're going to take away last. If you're super smart, you guessed it, it's going to be the ones. So the last amount that we're going to subtract is two ones. 283 take away two equals 281. I wonder if anyone can guess what strategy we have used. If you guess the place value... Partitioning strategy, then you are correct. There's just the little part in here. Some of you might not need to split our 60 into a 40 and a 20. Some of you might be super smart and you might just say, I know that 343 take away 60 equals 283 so you might not need to do this part here okay I hope that this has helped you use place value partitioning to solve subtraction problems